Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this video, you will learn the reasons to prefer a cons over let. So why should you use cons most of the time instead of let? One reason is that it simplifies by a lot the comprehension of a code base. First of all, while reading a code, you can assume that the information is in the constant variable will not change while you continue to read the code. Second, it encourages to break codes into smaller functions. Without cons, it is easier to define variables that change during the execution of code to make it it harder to figure out where a value is modified or not. That issue is eliminated with cons. With the habit of using cons, you enforce a constraint to break code with more function, which has its own scope. Performing the logic iteratively in your code creates small functions. These small functions are easier to understand individually and easier to create automatic tests. Another advantage of using smaller functions is that it describes the intention with the name of the function, making the code self-documenting. We can see side by side the difference between the two patterns. You can argue that let could be used instead of the cons, but then what is the point to mark something changeable when it does not? It only opens the door to mutating a variable that was never intended at its inception to be changed. In summary, there is no harm using cons and using let when it makes Sense, like in a for loop, where we have a logical reason to change the value of a variable. To conclude, the usage of cons should be a reflex, and when the mutation of a variable is needed, step back and ensure it is the right decision to take. So here we are again. We are at a fork where you need to make a decision. In the description, you can see two different paths. One leads to the learn more about var and the second to learn about all primitive types. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you soon.